Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Pirates Outlaws on iOS. I am Jalamon, and I'm trying to avoid getting hit by lightning by recording this now instead of later. Ugh, my allergies are acting up a bit, so please excuse any weirdness with the voice and all that. Well, I'll try the gunner this time, since it's been a while. You know, I'm gonna let this guy kind of prove himself again. All right, let us go. A sailing on the old bonnie blue sea. So there's a whirlpool thing that would teleport us to the back. We actually don't want to be teleported because it decreases the amount of gold we can get currently. Hmm. We kind of want to go for the middle or the right if we want events. And I want events. Of course, upgrades and selling stuff. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for the middle, though. Uh, but we can't here. Um, if we go to the right too much, we're going to be upset. So let's go to the left. And we'll save some sailing adventure points, things, my boppers. Issue the order. Fire at will. Yes, that is will. He grew a mustache. Also, we now have the reload mechanic for the gunner, so we don't need to worry as much about our ammo. Which is pretty nice. I just did it there because it was free. Okay, we're going to take that blighter down. Then we might as well double shot. And then we might as well do that. We only need a couple hits in order to bring this guy down. A punch and a shot. That's how pirates do it. Okay, two birds with one. That's about 18 damage for two, which is pretty good. I think our double shot is actually technically worse than that. Okay, throw knife would be good because it's free 10 damage at any target. This goes through armor, which is nice to finish people. But we want straight up damage. Thank you very much. That's usually just better. There's a board game called Descent, Journeys in the Dark. Second edition is the one I've got, but uh, basically flat damage is usually better than piercing damage because it's like the same thing except you deal more damage if they don't have armor. And if they, you know, if they did have armor or whatever, it's kind of the same effect. Anyway, that's enough talking about that. Ooh, we can do 18 to both. That's huge. We're going to do it. Boom. Already paying off. Alright, I like that card. Okay, we're gonna punch. And then take a shot. Okay, we have the bottle. Eh, that's not great. Ammo barrel, on the other hand, is pretty great. Ooh, but shield. That's straight up just six armor. Yes, thank you. Okay. Right now we don't have any lifesteal or anything like that. So that armor is going to be super effective for us. Uh, let's issue the order. And this should be 24, yes. The double shot is still great against single targets. And our armor is already showing how effective it is. Look at that. It's beautiful. Uh, we're going to take 10 here, though. Hmm. Yeah, we just don't have the damage right now. So, we'll prevent that being quite as deadly in only take three. Okay. Once again, I have no way to gain more health. Unfortunate. Ooh, Flurry. That's a great melee attack. The belt, though... What does immunity do? Okay. No, wrong button. Glossary, immunity. Cannot be replaced by other conditions. Ooh. Well, I think we want the belt because we're the gunner. But if we didn't have the belt, then yeah, immunity would have been great there. <laughs> Let's get our health back. Uh, we're keeping both of those. They're just wonderful. Did I get the ammo barrel? I don't think I did. Sadness is mine. We're going to sell one of these ammos. 
or remove it, I should say. Uh, and then I should try to get rid of my shots later on, because they just take up ammo compared to, say, even punch. And we want to get our two birds with one and our double shot more often. So, yeah. We'll go this way. For now. Ah, uh, well. We'll be able to take out this guy. Never mind. That worked out pretty well. And because we have an extra ammo, we're actually sitting pretty, pretty, pretty. Yep, yep. Alright, we didn't get our super cool double shot, two birds with one thing, but, uh, that's okay. Hmm, looks like he's just gonna add on some armor or something to himself, so... Or he's gonna heal. He will heal. That's right. It's been a while since I've seen the broom men. Oh, and we don't have enough to do issue order and double shot. Hmm. We'll just double shot here. Okay. Right. Get another ammo. Do a punch. A shot. And another gunfire. Because saying shot over and over gets a little boring, doesn't it? Hmm. hmm. We could then have healing with the bananas and we have more ammo. But we also have an ammo barrel. I think we're going to go for the ammo barrel. I'm hoping to get a high ammo bill, so then we can get really high cost ammo cards to deal significant damage. Ooh, I like this. Kablamicus. Uh, let's get some armor just because, even though really, probably wouldn't be better to save it, so then I could deal more damage later. But yeah, we'll just uh, move in. Take that lethal shot. Well, okay, automatic KO on enemies with less than 12. Deal 7 damage if this deals a crit, return it to your hand. Oh, uh, so. Hmm, if we upgrade issue order, we can get this used 3 times potentially, which would be 28 plus 7, which would be 35. That's 7 times 5. Hmm. Sorry, 35. I thought I said 35. It sounded like 55 over my mic, so anyway. I meant 35. 7 times 5 is 35. Moving on. Hmm. We could also do injuries. That's pretty good against bosses. I don't think we have a high crit build at the moment. Lethal Shot is interesting for moving people, but not as good as more damage. So let's go with injury for now. Ooh, let's give food. We'll take those coins. Thank you. A good deed goes rewarded in this game, which is pretty nice, considering it's a game called Pirates Outlaws. I mean, well, it's a, it's pretty heartening. Okay, cave is filled with poisonous gas. Hmm, I don't have that much health for leaving. All right then. Okay. We have our two birds with one, but no issue order, unfortunately. We're definitely punching this guy. Then we have a this going on, and then we could just take him out. And not worry about those other dudes for now. So yeah, that four ammo is already paying off quite well. Okay, let's get our ammo. Or this a thing. Uh, let us injure this dude. Oh, for some reason I didn't think I had to discard things to do that, and I am wrong. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I started the injury process on him. Okay, we're going to do ammo barrel and get rid of our other ammo. We're going to issue an order. And then we're just going to take that guy out. <laughs> and then we're going to do that. Let us remove the problem before it becomes a problem, shall we? And then injury, yeah, we could. We could. Hmm. It'll add up in case I don't get any more damage cards, and we have the armor right now. 
to not worry about it. Normally I'd be less aggressive and more like, oh yeah, we should totally just not take damage. But we have a pretty good damage dealing deck right here. And that led to our win. Ooh, collect weapon. So, hmm. We could literally use all of our cards, then play this. get five melee cards with our current build, but no, we're not going to do that. Hmm. Weakened could be nice against bosses. Smite is just good single target damage, cheaply. Hmm. It's not quite as good as some of our other stuff, but it's not bad. We're going for damage. Alright, and then we're going to go for the four. Because we're playing golf on this island. That's why. And then, yeah. We'll do this guy. And we have choices. We can deal 18, which is half of the first guy's health. Or we can do stuff like 12, and then 6 and 5 and 4 with the injury. So the injury basically pays off more than shoot anyway. So we're going to do that. And then get an ammo. So yeah, it's already dealing more damage than shoot if it doesn't get replaced by that condition, which it did. Oh, but basically it was the same as playing shoot right there, which was kind of nice. Okay. Yeah, we got options. Hmm. Okay, so issue order shoot plus punch takes out our first guy, which we have to do pretty much. I was thinking maybe there was a way to use the ammo barrel or get the wooden shield, but not if we wanted to not take 15 damage. Better to take 5 damage than 15. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh well. We'll just uh, reload, get rid of that wooden shield, and do that. We'll be in a good position for this turn. And dealing damage. Okay. Grab pincer. Let's actually get rid of wooden shield. Because if I remember correctly, we can do that. Yeah. Okay then. Well, we pretty much just win here, so. Very good. Ooh, arrow to the knee. We have that, and it's upgraded, so we can times three. Bomb Fiesta. Fifteen. If we get issue order on that, that's thirty, which is pretty good. The Golden Cup, we know, has some value just to sell, even if you don't do anything else. I like the idea of Bomb Fiesta, though. And we have more ammo than we normally get. So we're going to try it. Even with that upgraded arrow to the knee. I'm not particularly impressed with weakened or other conditions because they can get replaced so easily. Same thing with injury, it's just injury is equal to shoot right now, pretty much. Other than you discard a card for the chance of doing more damage. So, let's go to our cheaper event. Oh, let's accept that. Let us battle. It sounded like we might get a curse from battling or from running. I wasn't quite sure with that one, so yeah. So we're going to deal 18 damage with two birds with one. Which is pretty good. And then we have the chance to do Bomb Fiesta. Or... Or actually, no, we can just... yeah. We could choose to do 12 to one of them, but I think Bomb Fiesta is better overall. And then we'll shield. Ah ha Four ammo once again. Pretty good. Oh, and they're stealing my money. No! I need that money. Okay, so. They're both attacking again. Question is, how important is my health compared to my money? Technically, we're about to be able to pay for health as long as we take these people down. Hmm. So. I'm thinking we get aggressive here. I will aggressively attack. And then... 
go ahead and get rid of our wooden shield. Because as long as we have money, we'll be able to win. Okay, we have issue order with two birds with one. That would use all of our stuff. 18 plus 6 is 24. It's not quite enough to get rid of that backliner. Hmm. So issue order smite, on the other hand, is 24 damage. Oh, and then I could still use Crab Pincer. Hmm. Crab Pincer and So. Yeah, I think we'll do uh, this. I think I did my math right. right? No, I'm wrong. Okay. Well, either way. We take out one of them that was going to attack. The other guy's probably going to flee. No, he's not. Well, very well then. Hmm. Bomb Fiesta, because it's fun. I mean, party's literally in the name. It's just the Spanish word for party. Ooh, an old key. That's probably for an event. Now, I think it is actually the tavern which has health. Therefore, it behooves us to buy health from the tavern. Um, let us remove some worser cards. Mostly just shoot, I think. Punch can still be useful. And I think we want to save the hundred, or we could still pay to get rid of this shoot. Hmm. Choices. I think we're actually going to be a little dangerous here and do something I don't normally do, which is really make sure we have consistency. So, alright. Maybe it'll let us last longer in the game. Maybe it won't. Maybe I just shot myself in the foot. Hmm. I'm going to do wooden shield, wooden shield, issue order, grab pincer on somebody. Probably the boss. There's a chance he won't change conditions for a while. I might be wrong, though. So Smite will only work once. And we got all of our high-cost cards in the same hand without issue order. So that's wonderful. So he's going to deal 6 damage to us. We deal 18 with 2 birds with 1, so we're just going to... Oh, I had issue order still. So, yeah. That, uh, that worked. And we'll, we'll just do that. We'll get rid of Smite. That removes it from our deck, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. He's just going for shielding himself. We can increase the injury count, which will be pretty good. So you know what? We're not going to worry about our wooden shield. We're going to do Bomb Fiesta. And pincer. So this is why I like injury on bosses, as it stacks up very, very well, as long as they don't change a condition. Hmm. Yeah, we can get a pretty good amount of damage off right now. We're not going to worry about our health because it's going to change once we've defeated this boss anyway, or heal, I should say. So seven damage I'm willing to take in terms of dealing more damage. And that does put him in half, but he didn't do anything crazy yet. So maybe it's just after he hits below half. Hmm. Well, we're going to punch for sure. Okay, yeah, now we're not sure what he's doing. Two birds with one is strictly worse than Bomb Fiesta. Crab Pincer! Let's see, that's going to deal 14 damage. And if he doesn't get a new condition, that'll become 13. So that's one less than Bomb Fiesta, and it costs less. We'll try this, and just get rid of uh, that one for now. I'm betting he's going to get a condition or a status or remove that, yep. So, oh well. We could have gotten a little more damage with the cost of another ammo, but I'm willing to take one less damage on him for having an extra ammo this turn, which seems to have paid off pretty well. Wooden shield, get rid of you, so we can get our damage off. And then we can get a little bit of shielding. 
Well, probably I should have saved that ammo for another good damaging combo. Okay. We're going to go high ammo and ignore our shields. Okay. Yep. Alright. Well, this is still pretty good for us, and we will survive it. So, yeah. Hmm. I think we're okay if we deal one more round of damage to him. But I also want more... You know what? We're gonna hold off, I think. We'll just do that. Okay. Now, yeah, Bomb Fiesta should take him out. There we go. Booyah, the Rose. Heal three when you deal a critical hit. That's good for us. Okay. Bide time I wasn't super impressed with. If we went through a lot of cards in turn, that would be great. But that's more of a melee build, I'd say. Hmm. Greed could be good, especially with our high ammo build. I like the idea of healing when we deal crits, because we are trying to do that fairly often. Okay, so let us continue. Alright, so... Let's check the map. We have some events off to the right. It would also let us upgrade some of our best cards if we go to that market. And then we have a lot of opportunities for stuff. I do need the tavern sooner rather than later, so yeah, we'll go to the right. We're going to need those adventure points. Yep, yep, yep. We've got all of our health back, yay! Okay, then... We can still afford to do all of our damage stuff. Hmm. The robber's going to start taking our money. So I'm inclined to put an injury on him and deal damage as soon as possible to him, rather than Broken Bottle Guy. So Broken Bottle Guy, I'm sorry, but you will not receive... Uh, Stoof. Then we'll do that. Oof. Okay. And yeah, the 6 and 5 wouldn't have KO'd the Broken Bottle Guy. We'd still have had to use something on him. Okay, we can take out Broken Bottle Man. And then... Bomb Fiesta, 15 plus 5, and the punch. Yeah. So this will work. Math! It's coming in handy. <laughs> uh. I can finally believe my teacher. There we go. Dangerous game. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that one. Yeah, random melee card to your hand. That's not bad. Ooh, dodge times two. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, I think we want dodge more than that, even though it costs ammo. Okay. Hmm. Let's do it. And then we go this way. Who else wants some of my pirate... piracy action... I don't know. Words. They escape me. But they also escape pirates, usually, so hey. I'm par for the course. Okay, and we've blocked all the damage, which is nice. Oh, two birds with one. We deal 9 damage to Backliner Boy, which is 9 plus 12 is actually perfect. So yes, we will do this and that, get all that up, and yeah, this is working out really well. I think going for damage has been a good move overall for us. Okay, we deal 15 with Bomb Fiesta. We can also predict. I want to predict. Okay, so you have to put it on the enemy, weirdly enough. So 15 versus injury. Or we can do injury and wooden shield. Yeah, we'll do that. Prevent all forms of damage. And we'll figure it out. Okay. So yeah, we didn't take any extra damage there. There was a chance we'd dodge, but we didn't. Uh, for shame. For shame. All right, we're going to get rid of our wooden shield so that we can deal a lot of damage. And we... Booyah. The hammer 
Upgrade two random attack cards. That's wonderful. Draw a card whenever an enemy is killed. Eh. Ooh. Deal eight damage and draw two cards. Regardless. That seems pretty good. Uh, so two upgrades, which is basically 150 money coins if you did it at a place at the same time. Or Quick Shot, which is already upgraded and lets us draw more cards to cycle through our deck and be even more consistent. Hmm. Oh, that's tough. I don't know what's better. We currently have no card draw, so that has hurt us a couple times. You know what? Let's go with Quick Shot, even though I really do want the hammer. I hope this doesn't come back to haunt me. Ooh. A crew is playing dice. Uh, we're gonna bet 50 coins. Hey! Oh, we lost 3 max HP, probably because they, uh, attacked us a lot. How rude. Okay, and actually... Feels like... Okay, so it's 7 every step of the way after this move. We'd have 5 moves. Nah, we wouldn't be able to last, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably pay the money. For that 100% AP. Yep. Oh, and it has a nice little notification. Oh, hey, you're below 50. That's really nice of them. Now, oh, let's remove. I do like punch on occasion. We no longer have shot. We have smite and shot, which are both pretty good. I don't want to get rid of my wooden shields, but maybe I should. Or even just my ammo. We'll get rid of one ammo. And then we will get all of our action points. And then, oh, we still have the market. Should have paid more attention. Oh well. So we have good news. Now we don't care about that. Don't care about that. Oh. That's not the worst, considering we're pretty active and being able to crit and get our health back and stuff. Maybe the weekend. Ooh, that's really good. Hmm. I think what we want, though, is upgrading double shot or issue order. You know what? Issue order. Yeah. Because we have enough attack cards that really work well with that. I think we're going to be happy. Ah! No! I paid so much money! Money! Why you go down drain? I so sad. Okay. Well, to the right. We need to collect more money, which hopefully will not be wasted. Okay. Hmm. So we don't have much to protect ourselves. We have total 26 damage in hand. Oh, plus the crab pincer. If we wanted to do that. But I think we're going to ignore crab pincer, instead do predict, and hope we avoid damage. We're gonna punch to make sure we get stuff. And quick shot, uh, we'll quick shot the guy in the back. So that hopefully we get some good cards. Ooh, goody. And we have two birds with one, if we wish. We don't have an issue order, so it's less good, but still good. Okay. I have convinced myself. We're gonna ignore the injury thing. You know, it probably would have been fun. Hey! Dodge worked for us! Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Now there's a chance we get lucky with Bomb Fiesta. A double shot would ensure the KO. Oh, you know what? We can do issue order Bomb Fiesta. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Why wouldn't we? Ah, have some bombs, gentlemen. There we go. Okay, we don't care about that. We don't care about that or that. I really don't want any of these. But why though? Mm -hmm. I mean, this could work well. Since we do have the rose, this helps us heal a lot, potentially. But also miss a lot, potentially. Let me, let me look at our route here. Okay. So we wouldn't be able to get rid of that card for a while. Mm -hmm. In fact, we might even not get rid of the card. Since I'll probably need to buy more action points. <laughs> stupid, stupid storms. Anyways. Um. Hmm. 
So we'll take toast and not spend any coins on refreshing that. Okay. We got an issue order double shot, just straight up. We're gonna do that. Because why not? And then we could toast for no particular reason, but I think it would be better to inflict injuries upon our opponent. Most perjurious. Because he's a liar. Anyway. Perjury. Yeah. You know, lies, etc. etc. Moving on. Um He's not gonna attack, so we might as well just smite. Oh. Right, and I still had issue order. That was beautiful. Okay. The right decision for many reasons. Yay. Even if I didn't quite understand all the reasons. Cough, cough. Alright. So we have 20 health on this guy now. So 12 plus 9 would be enough. So I'm just going to do it. Plus we have the injury still. So even though that is not optimal, it still works. And we have throw a knife on guard. Random rage card to your hand. Oh, we have another quick shot. Um, ooh, maybe we do want another quick shot, though. Hmm. Just because. Because a random ranged card could be a lot worse than drawing uh, into a better card. Throw a knife is, of course, just good. You know what? Never mind. I've convinced myself. Throw a knife is just good. It's free 10 damage, and then it gets out of your deck. So you don't have to worry about seeing it ever again. If you don't have a build for that. Yeah. I'm uh, pretty happy. Um, we don't need toast. We need issue order. And so we can deal 24 twice here. Which is 48. Which is overkill on the first guy. Mm, I hate wasting damage, but I also like not taking damage. So we're going to do that. Then, should we toast? No. We want to be able to be sober-minded. As Paul so graciously points out to the Corinthians. In the Bible. Yes, yes. We are, of course, Victorian era pirates. We know our Bible very well. Hmm. <laughs> He's not going to be attacking, so predict is useless. Don't you know you can't predict the future, sir? Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I meant to do Bomb Fiesta first. No! Redo! No, Bomb Fiesta. I'm sorry. Oh well. It'll, uh, it'll work out perfectly. I'll have four ammo next turn. And I'm going to be so much happier with my life. Okay. Got the shuffle. Ooh. Okay, well, we're going to do this and that. And then we could toast just so we get some HP. Why not? Injury will still inflict damage regardless. And then we do that. And we're back to full ammo. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if Crab Pincer... I doubt he's able to dodge that. That's not like a normal attack. You're just literally applying an injury and not attacking. Hmm. Well then. Let's do predict so we get a card out of our hand. Then we have options we can... Oh, and then we got rid of our drunk. Good. Well, that's the best taking of the cure ever. Just playing a game of cards. Hmm. Well, issue order would be nice here. I'm gonna do that. Then that. Well, then quick shot. And then win. Yay, quick shot. It's working pretty well. Ooh. This is a good melee card. Why haven't I ever seen this before? Oh. Sometimes. <laughs> well. Hmm. We already start out with armor, though, so it's not as good. Hmm. This could be great or terrible for us. This works on any attack card. So we're just going to take Inspire. And take it easy, because we want to save our money. Ah, do we dare risk the boisterous events? I think we must. Ooh, upgrade a card or get plus 20 HP. Oh man, that's so difficult. I think we want to upgrade a card more than rest, right? 
Because once the bosses amp up enough, it's kind of like, oh well, we're just doomed. Bomb Fiesta becomes 7 three times, so that's 21 versus 18, so Bomb Fiesta is actually better in terms of damage. So yes, we will upgrade Bomb Fiesta. Okay. Ooh, okay, we don't have the right relic for this one. Ignore and enter the cave? No, we're just, we're just gonna leave, guys. We wanna be a smart and entering party that ignores opportunities. Because we're trying to be consistent. Consistent. I tell you. Okay, consistent snakes sound super slithery. Okay, we don't need inspire yet, but it could help us in the future. It could. Uh, we want to predict in order to avoid 25 damage. Thank you very much. And I'll need a little wooden shield. And a doble shield. And then an ammo barrel. And get rid of inspire. I don't need to be inspired right now. I just need to be good at my job. Okay, we have throw knife. Dealing 10 damage, just period. He has no added people, so we're fine with that. We can't add injury to him just yet. Ooh, bomb fiesta. Okay, we're gonna do... Ooh. We don't really... Do we want to gamble here? No. Let's be consistent. It's worked very well for us so far. Uh, bomb fiesta is strictly better, unless we want to use smite. There's a chance he adds some other people. We'll bump Fiesta here. Okay. Just straight up good damage. Alright, 30. That, that hurts my soul. Okay. Issue order is pretty good here. Mm, we have Predict. And I say issue order is good here because we want to try and deal enough damage to pull that down, but that's not going to happen because I just play the card that costs the ammo. And I'm hoping we dodge, basically. If we don't, this is going to hurt a lot. And we still can't do another condition on him, so crap answer is useless. So yeah, we'll have to do this and just hope we dodge. Dodge! Oh! Yes! And now we have beauty! Okay, except we have no, no ammo. This disappoints me. Um... We can get a bit of smite. Do 24 damage, just straight up. Then, to clear my hand... Hmm. Do I toast here? I think we toast here. We're just not going to worry about it. It may end up costing us this battle. We will, we will have to find out. Okay. We got a punch, which we missed. Okay, would Inspire have removed that? No. Hmm, he's currently dealing a ton of damage to us, so... I think, yeah. We're gonna remove Inspire. We don't need it. What we need is a Bomb Fiesta. Okay, good. We're only taking minimal damage. Alright. So... Glad we have our ammo barrel. I could just try to get rid of Inspire. It is currently making us less consistent. Hmm. But it could also save our bacon. That's, that's a hard one. For now, we're just going to get our ammo barrel. Get rid of Inspire. Do a double shot. And then... Should we shield? Yeah, we'll shield. There's always a chance that will save us as well. Here, we have Predict. Weirdly enough. We have our Punch. Issue Order might be fun, but not necessary right now. Well, we're definitely punching. And I didn't want to miss that, because that would have been horrible. We will Predict... And issue order. Okay. 
And hopefully we dodge again, but... Oh, man, we're getting pretty lucky on those. Okay. We don't have Bomb Fiesta up. Ah, uh, man. We have Quick Shot. We'll still get one card out of Quick Shot. Hmm. Let's Quick Shot and hope it's like an ammo barrel. Yes! So we will get rid of Crab Pincer for now. Or you know what? We'll just do that. And then Bomb Fiesta. Okay. We'll end our turn. Hmm. Alright. What to do here? Probably want to predict again. I highly doubt we'll be so lucky so much. We're getting really close to being KO'd, so I think... Kinda have to take the risk on being able to deal a ton of damage next turn. Or else we might just be KO'd. Regardless. Okay. Well. Let's get rid of Inspire. And then we will toast as well, I think. There's a chance we miss on our Inspire attack. But, uh, okay, good. We have the chance for a bomb fiesta to deal a ton of damage and decrease the damage we take. Oh, and we gained life from that too, so yeah, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. We're probably just going to take that damage straight up though. Yep, yeah, we can't block it. Never mind. We will take that straight up. <laughs> but we're, we're just back where we were, so that's fine. Hmm, predict it's going to be. Useless for now, but it will be useful next turn if we draw it. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. And we have Punch, which we missed. Uh, okay. There's a chance we deal a lot of damage. Nope. Let's get Pincer on there since we can. That would have been nice to have had that earlier, and then gotten that up and up and up. Okay, we pretty much lose here. Hmm. Unless we draw into victory. Nope! Man, so close but so far. Our consistency was not enough. Because we started being inconsistent, I suppose? Mm, no, no. I think it was not playing pincer as soon as we could have and building that up. Because this is clearly a guy who's designed to not take damage and on specific turns, so... Okay. Well, live, you learn. We toast to our health and say goodbye to our wealth. Alright. Yep, we got closer to a reward. That's nice. We had 16 cards in the deck. Nice to know. I liked that deck. And I liked that it let us know what was in there. Alright, dear viewer, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe to see more iOS games, and have a great day.